I want to get back to our politicians behaving badly and uh, this performance by Bob Catter and Ross Cadell was, uh, was extraordinary. I don't think it's very good. Uh, let's make it a bit of a spectator sport. We'll play another slab of this stuff and then get your views. Have a look. So all you're about is the stunt and this is what you're doing now, isn't it? You're all about the words, never about the work. You quit when you didn't get staff because you didn't want to have to do the work. You love the paycheck, you like, hate the hard job, and these people here have been suffering under your watch. Mate, I'm warning you, he's sitting don't speak day. over he's, me. He thought he knew better than you this, 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 this bloke won't shut up. He won't let anyone else have a say. And I can understand why he won't let anyone else You're have a say. You're planning on taxpayer money to Don't keep money. interrupting me. Money don't keep stuff. interrupting me. Do you hear me? Don't keep interrupting me. I have a right to have a say. You don't know you don't. Every time I opened my mouth, you started talking. Right? Now shut up and let me have a go. There you go. And he went back to his uh, people dressed up as pigs and uh, whatnot. Uh, who's right and who's wrong in this little <laughs> stouch, Susie? Oh, this is appalling. I don't care who's right and who's wrong. I think both of them are just behaving like five-year-olds. I mean, Bob Cat is saying, shut up and let me have a go, pointing his finger in his face. That's just disgusting behaviour. And all it does is take all of the attention away from where it needs to be, which is what is happening inside the room behind them, and all the stories about the burgeoning supermarket profits up to a billion dollars off the back of farmers who are being paid 1978 prices for their produce. I mean, we've got farmers who are four generations who are pulling out apple trees because they can't make a buck out of um, selling their wares to the, to the two big supermarket chains. I mean, some of them are getting $2.50 a kilo for good apples, and they're being sold for $5 on the supermarket shelves. Bad apples, they're getting 15 cents a kilo. No wonder they're going broke. And amidst all of that, soaring profits and we're all paying more. And these clowns are making it all about them. Shame all, on them. All about them. Look, I, I think Bob Catter was very rude in the way he responded there. And I think mm. we'll have Bob Catter on the program tomorrow night to talk about some of these issues. But this Ross, <laughs> this yes. Ross Cadell, Stephen, uh, uh, he's, he's interrupting someone else's press conference yelling from the sidelines, here's an idea, here's a crazy idea, Senator Cadell, call a press conference yourself and have something to say. I've never heard of the bloke. When's he calling press conferences to tell us how to fix these problems rather than just jumping in on someone else? Well, look, I've got to admit that Ross and, Ross and I have been mates for about 25 years, but and he is a relatively new senator, but that's not an excuse because he's been around politics for, well, for 25 years that I know of anyway, and he should know better. But um, I'd be surprised if he's allowed to call his own press conferences yet because he is the newbie in town. But, uh, look, the reality is I think this whole inquiry is a bit of a stunt, and you got, you know, he's, he was referring to Andrew G as the stunt man. I think they're all bloody stunt men, and they should be sticking up for their constituents <laughs> rather yeah. than just trying to get a, a I, grab on TV. I tell you what... What? Anybody in politics can be accused of running a bit of a stunt, no matter what they get up and say. But if you've got a couple of yeah. people behind you dressed up as pigs, I reckon you're caught cold. <laughs> you can't say that's not a stunt. <laughs>